Today I have the opportunity to tell you two stories of success that have given origin to this exclusive yacht, easy to manoeuvre and very efficient. First, of the historic shipyard in San Remo, per mare, and second, of the great international company Volvo Penta. This is the Amur 94, nicknamed Save the Sea, and in a while, when we sail, we'll find out why. Amur is a shipyard with remarkable building ability, thanks to the experience and knowledge of its founder, Fernando Amerio. Using artisanal methods, the yard tailors each yacht to its owner. But above all, they know the principal characteristics that a yacht should possess. The shape of the hull, weight distribution and location of the engines and associated systems. Elements that determine the quality of navigation. With a single skin hull and sandwich bulkheads, everything is built with the knowledge that meticulous care to construction is critical. For example, a stopwatch is used to spread the resin and control the catalysis. Of AMA, it is said, their yachts should cost much more based on how they are built. The interior is designed by Stefano Tini. The lounge is characterised by the onyx flooring, which is laid on plywood to prevent fractures in the stone. The effect is extraordinarily beautiful. Because the builders never lose sight of the technical aspects on the upper deck to reduce weight, cork has been used as a coating, very light and fresh. Below deck are four cabins, two large identical guest rooms that stand out for their luxury and comfort. Up forward, there is the crew quarters and another smaller guest room, but the focus in design is all for the owner, a triumph in elegance and space, enhanced by the long corridor and closet, which lead to the splendid bathroom, beautifully tiled with dark Imperador marble. It is applied to a special structure that makes the rigid marble compatible with the dynamic elasticity of the yacht. This yacht celebrates another important story, that of the Volvo Penta IPS system. Invented 10 years ago, this system has had a wide distribution, 17,000 units installed in 1,100 different boats from 540 shipyards. AMA 94 is the largest yacht constructed in the Mediterranean with IPS propulsion. It utilizes three 900 horsepower D13 motors. They are six cylinder, 12,780 cubic centimeter diesels with two stage turbo compressors, direct injection, and four valves per cylinder. The large space dedicated to the engine room allows the engineers to easily operate the equipment, the engines to have plenty of combustion air, and the whole space to remain relatively cool thanks to the abundant air circulation. In port, manoeuvring a 29-metre yacht is no simple thing, but this one is so easy to operate that even the bow thruster, installed in addition to the propulsion driven by its three engines, remains unused. This huge boat can be easily controlled with two fingers and a joystick. With this feature, it's possible to move the boat in any desired direction. Naturally, it can spin itself around, stop in place, or even move sideways with no fuss, thanks to the powerful engines and the IPS propulsion system without operating the bow thruster. The designer evenly distributed the weights along the hull's longitudinal centerline to increase the stability characteristics. For instance, the fuel tank has been designed following this principle, and in doing so, the amount of fuel inside doesn't affect the trim. 
weight reduction is crucial for a good design. To achieve this, AMA installed structural tanks for freshwater as well, and the materials used on board are as light as possible. For instance, the doors are in Novex, a material used in planes that is not only light, but also provides excellent sound insulation and is fire resistant. Thanks to the use of these materials and to the advanced building techniques, the AMA 94, 28.60 meters long and 6.30 meters wide, has a light weight of 64 tons, much lighter than the 75 to 80 tons of many other yachts of this category built by competitors. Right now I'm sitting on a comfortable chair and from where I can both maneuver in a harbor or sail in open sea. For instance, by setting the autopilot, I can just control the course and change the direction, simply rotating the control joystick. For instance, by setting the autopilot, I can just control the course and change the direction, simply rotating the control joystick. Sailing at 10 knots, the engine's consumption is 56 litres per hour, and this means 5.6 litres per nautical mile, about 20% less than a propulsion realised with traditional shafts and same output. Let's increase the speed and start planing. Siamo a 2000 giri, con una velocità di... The engines run at 2,000 rpm and the speed is 22 knots. The main advantage between this type of propulsion and the traditional shaft line is the lack of noise and vibrations at this speed, in addition to the steadiness, the ease of manoeuvring and the steering response. Not only when turning, but also when turning back. There are many interesting features on the control console, like, for instance, the trim assist, automatically regulating the angle of attack, positioning the interceptors at the right height according to the speed. Then there's the cruise control that, just like on cars, keeps a steady speed. Naturally, all three engines can be synchronized and when maneuvering in harbor, there are even more features available, like stopping the yacht in a wanted spot in a wanted direction, simply by pressing a button here on the control pad. What speed can the AMA 94 reach? Considering its length, breadth, displacement and engine output, if we analyse the data available from other yachts, I'd say it could make about 25 knots. Let's try it out. All right, here we are, 23.5, 24 knots, but the engines are just running at 2,050 rpm and can reach 2,300. Let's push them to the limit. Slowly, we're catching more and more speed. We reached 28 knots. With this performance, we can state that the AMA is 20% faster than other comparable units given the same engine power. And with a maximum consumption at full throttle of 500 litres per hour, well, we can say that it is 20% more efficient than a yacht with traditional shaft line propulsion as well. Now, after having analysed the performance of this AMA 94, tell me if I was wrong saying that this is a true story of success, a story about a historic shipyard, Permare, and about a great international company, Volvo Penta.